day. Not bad. Ah, shoot. Let's see. What's that? I do appreciate you supporting the cause. No, so you don't want it? No. How come you don't want it? No, I don't want it. I'm not interested. Uh, but, um, not interested? No. But um, the, the thing is, yeah. like, Starbucks property, so they can't be over here. Starbucks property? Yeah, on this side. Yeah. So, uh, if you could just move a little bit further. Yeah. Uh, but I don't understand you yeah. know what you're doing. All right. Yeah, you know, it's the number one cause of death in Texas, right? Yeah, Abortion. Yeah. And you know, out, out, out of the uh, black people, half the women that get pregnant abort their babies. Only, less than half the baby, black babies actually make it into this world because they get aborted. You know, because men who go to church every Sunday don't treat women the way God wants them to treat them. So like they actually say things like, well, our pastor already, you know, said God forgives all sin. And, you know, like we already talked to our pastor and it's OK. Like, God will forgive us, we have an abortion. So that's the type of comments we get from people, not, not just black people, but all people, right? Yeah. So, and we're all created in the image of God, right? Yeah. Like a black baby doesn't deserve to die any more than a white baby does, right? Yeah. So you should be standing up, man. You sure you don't want the literature? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I think literature, but as far as, you know, with a job is concerned, you know, um, yeah. people just, you know. I, I know that Starbucks is a pro-choice, liberal uh organization right a business i know they're okay with abortion i mean they come right out and, you know say it so I, I understand your point of view yeah you know so are you a christian yeah you are a christian you know how do you how do you know what how does the bible say you know you're saved well never really i, I read it and i have my own beliefs you know you have your own beliefs not what, what about what the bible says well, I don't, I mean, What's that? I really don't want to get into that right now. You know, no. Uh, you know, I gotta take care of business inside. But you're willing to come out and try to shut down the message of uh, Jesus Christ, you know? I understand. To understand. love our neighbor as ourself. Yeah, I understand. Listen, I'm not against what you're doing because it's a free country. You have the yeah. right to do it. It's just that uh, when it kind of interfere with the business, I just gotta. Yeah. Well, I think you could have tried a lot harder to get me to leave, like brought me a coffee or something, you know, <laughs> but, but even if you did, I wouldn't, I'm not, I'm not going to go, <laughs> but you could have tried harder, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm but you know, my name's Todd, by the way, so I, I'm not trying to, hey, wait a minute, here, yeah. there you go, <laughs> so yeah, anyway, but I appreciate you coming out and trying, you know, Yeah. So, but here's how you know whether or not you're saved or not, you know whether or not you're saved or not by your fruit. Jesus says that good fruit comes from a good tree and bad fruit comes from a bad tree. So you have to examine your life and see if, you know, you say you're a Christian, but what's your fruit? You know, is your fruit good? Yeah. You know? Yeah, I understand. I'll, All right. I'll, I'll look into that. Okay. All right, brother. But, uh, so, you know, when they get a chance, you can do What's that? When they get a chance, you can just move it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. At 8 o'clock, I'll go. 8 o'clock? Yeah. Thanks, man.